the UNSC is one of, if not the most recognizable part of Halo. The legendary Spartans, the unique vehicles, and more notably, the arsenal. Weapons such as the assault rifle and the rocket launcher are staples of the franchise and will forever be synonymous with Halo. However, when 343 Industries took over from Bungie, we'd see some alterations of the designs, with mixed reactions. So I took it upon myself to try and blend the two art styles, to see if there was a way to please fans of the old designs and fans of the new. It's time to redesign Halo. Greetings, Vern Sash here. This is the second video in my new series, Redesigning Halo, and a follow-up to the previous episode, where I looked at designs such as the battle rifle and the shotgun. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up in the top right corner, and a link in the description. Now, talking about the previous episode, I just want to say thank you for all the amazing response. This series is off to a great start, and like I said in that video, my main focus is the designs, so I'm not really a gun expert. But thank you all for correcting some of my mistakes. You guys really taught me a lot from that video. So hopefully there won't be any in this one. Without further ado, let's begin. The submachine gun made its debut in Halo 2 replacing the assault rifle from CE as the new high rate of fire low damage bullet hose. Just like the AR before it, the design is simple and straight to the point. The moment you pick it up, you know right away what its purpose is. It has a compact look, with its stock either being collapsed or extended, depending on if it's dual wielded or not. And just like many other UNSC weapons in Halo 2, the design makes heavy use of rounded corners, as opposed to the more angular look of the later entries in the franchise. It even included this grip pattern, further exaggerating its more round and smooth aesthetic. Something that stands out in the design is the more lightish grey piece right above the caseless magazine, acting sort of as the eye to the gun, a focal point of the design. Halo 3 was more or less a continuation of the same design, the only noticeable addition, aside from the improvement in graphics, being these red lights on the magazine. These designs will be my inspiration. The SMG's next appearance in the mainline games was in Halo 5 Guardians, and had therefore been missing from the games for 8 years. The design more or less keeps the silhouette we all know and love but it's in the details where it differs from its predecessors. The biggest change is the placement of the magazine. It used to stick to the side of the gun, but now took some inspiration from the real-world FNP90 and placed it on top of it, right below the optics. Speaking of optics, the standard SMG in Halo 5 brought back the reflex side from Halo 3 ODST's suppressed SMG and made it a bit more blocky. It also ditched the grip pattern for stripes instead of circles. What's also clear is the fact that it's mostly grey and lightish grey, whereas Halo 3's version was more dark with a bluish secondary color. Other than that, and the stock being collapsed, the rest of the changes are mostly an increase in details. This design will be my base. And here's my design. The first thing I changed about the Halo 5 design was adding the classic grip pattern. While it's very old school, it's also too iconic to me not to include it in this design. I also wanted to combine Halo 3's dark and cold look with Halo 5's more light approach. So I ended up giving it three very distinct greys. A dark grey, a bluish grey, and a light grey. With the elephant in the room, I placed the magazine on the side. Realistic or not, I personally feel like it's part of what made the design so familiar, yet unique back when it's made its debut. I also included Halo 3's lights on the magazine and added an additional one on the back of it. 
I just feel like the red really makes this otherwise grey design pop with an aggressive flair. And since the SMG is known for having optics attached, I included a rail to just make the gun a bit more believable. I made sure to bring back the quote unquote eye of the design, as that always simplified the design in a way, giving you something to look at. I also extended the stock, since the dual wielding seems to be a thing of the past anyways. And what would a UNSC weapon be without a logo and a scratched up surface? And as a bonus, here's the suppressed ODST version, with a more stealthy color scheme. Pretty hot, if you ask me. What we ended up with is a design which seems to be right in between the old and the new. It has Halo 5's overall shape, but Halo 2 and 3's features really helps it to fit into a more gritty old school sci-fi universe. No other UNSC weapon is as recognizable as the old trusty assault rifle. It made its debut in the first game in the franchise, and in doing so, became Chief's signature weapon throughout the series. While it didn't make an appearance in Halo 2, the assault rifle would make its glorious return in the third installment, and it wouldn't leave us ever again. Before Reach, the AR was known for its soft and simple cold grey and silver look with a distinct green light on the foregrip. In Halo Reach, however, the design saw its first major redesign. The weapon was now much more blocky and angular, and favored different shades of grey over Halo CE and 3's more silvery look. It looked overall more compact and short, making it fit in more in the hands of regular Marines. To see the full picture, all of these designs will be my inspiration. Halo 4 made sure to make the assault rifle something new and fresh, while keeping the essence of the classic design. This was clearly a callback to Halo CE and 3, with its clear distinction between the dark and the light parts. However, instead of a cold, dark grey color, it went for something much darker and desaturated. Halo 5 kept most of 4's silhouette, besides the magazine and the stock, but changed the whole color scheme. It now made a callback to the assault rifle we saw long before Combat Evolved was released. The foregrip, stock, cheek piece, and magazine was now olive green instead of the more muted colors seen previously. It also reduced the amount of silver quite drastically, only keeping it in the front part of the gun. It also added a stripe, probably as a reference to Reach's design. This design will be my base. And this is the design I came up with. I do want to note, the reason I didn't include the assault rifle in my first video was because I'm a huge fan of both the classic and 343's design. And furthermore, 343's design is really faithful to Bungie's design. But I wanted to give it a shot, and maybe even include some of Reach's design in there. First thing I did, was to give it the old color scheme. I've always loved how Bungie made it so the darker colors are at the bottom and the light colors were at the top. I also made sure to give it back the lights from Halo 3. Those lights just scream UNSC to me, so I just had to. To include some of Reach, I extended the stock a bit and brought in some details from the front part of the gun. I also tilted the cheek piece a bit and made the grip more blocky to resemble Reach's design. Besides that and some smaller changes, such as the barrel and a stripe, the design stayed the same. The result is a very safe assault rifle, bringing in parts from all iterations, but mostly paying tribute to the earlier designs. The railgun is one of these designs that's kinda hard to redesign, seeing as 343 were the ones who came up with it. But what I can do is look at different weapon designs created by Bungie and see if I can imagine what their version of the railgun would have looked like. So keep in mind, 
this is not so much a blend of the art styles, as it is a complete redesign of the weapon, inspired by Bungie's work. Now I'm going to take inspiration from a lot of guns, but my biggest inspiration is definitely the Reach Spartan Laser. I know, they're completely different design-wise, but if you think about it, they're both power weapons you need to charge up. They fill out a very specific niche in the battlefield, and they both have this dark grey base with colored parts on top of it. So this design will be my inspiration. The Rave Gun made its first appearance in Halo 4, as a sort of blend between the Rocket Launcher and the Spartan Laser. The design is very elongated and strangely angular in the front part. We do, however, see some curved parts of the gun, such as the grip and the display. The design also becomes a little aggressive with the teeth-like protrusions at the bottom front part. Halo 5's railgun is more or less the exact same design, although the color was changed from a warm grey to beige. This design will be my base. And here's what I came up with. Now I want to make it clear, I'm a fan of 343's design, so coming up with meaningful changes was quite the challenge. So I decided to take some liberties, and made it green. It took me quite some time to get used to it, but once I accepted it, it just kept growing on me. Since beige really isn't that common in UNSC weapons, I initially made it grey. But being a power weapon, it needed to stand out. And that's where the Spartan Laser really helped me. I also included silver as a third color, and just like the laser, I used it rather sparingly. What's also very noticeable is how I shortened the whole thing. Purely aesthetically, I feel like 343's design is a little front heavy, so I made the whole thing a little more compact. It now feels like something a regular marine might even be able to use while the original really felt like a weapon specifically designed for Spartans. It also made the display much more angular and aggressive, and even brought it up a bit, to really show that this part folds up whenever you reload. The grip was also ripped straight out of the Spartan laser, to really go with this angular look, instead of the more soft silhouette. I wanted to give the design some light to make it stand out among the power weapons and decided to go with blue lights, as the railgun is known for its blue glow whenever you charge it up. I also gave it a metal piece in the front, honestly just because I thought it looked empty. Other than that, in details such as the extended stock, that's about it. The design I made ended up being its own thing, a more tactical and compact version. The green recolor might be controversial, but the soul of the ray gun is still present. We first saw the designated marksman rifle in Halo Reach. Being a sort of successor to the battle rifle seen in Halo 2 and 3, and it's clear it took a lot of inspiration from the BR. It has the bullpup design we've all come to expect from the UNSC's rifles, but it has some unique quirks. It has this huge trigger guard, if you can even call it that, and a really tall front side housing. The whole design is just filled to the brim with details, with different colors and markings all over it. This design will be my inspiration. We wouldn't have to wait long to see the DMR again, and Halo 4 gave us a rather faithful redesign. The biggest changes being the stock that's now connected to the grip, the more angular trigger guard, and the placement of the front side housing. Halo 5 built off a force design, but quite drastically changed the scope from being a bit elevated to making the entire design much more flat, and lowered the contrast between the dark and the light parts. This design will be my base. And here's my redesign. I knew right away that I wanted to bring back all the parts that made the DMR, well, the DMR. So I brought back the tall front side housing on the barrel, and made sure to bring up the rail and the scope. I also felt the Halo 5 design 
could use a third, darker shade of grey. And to add some excitement to the design, I wanted to bring in something more intense. I looked at the reach design and saw a lot of small red details, so I wanted to exaggerate that a bit. I added a red stripe near the stock and gave it some small lights, because it is never an Isar's design without the lights. I also separated the stock from the grip and gave the trigger guard a more horizontal look. And lastly, I finished the design with a white stripe and a UNSC logo on the optic. What we ended up with is yet again a fairly safe design. It has the more clean and precise look of Halo 4 and 5, while keeping the silhouette of the original. Before taking a look at this design, I want to make it clear that I've read all your comments about wanting to see the Spanker rocket launcher. But when I sat down to redesign it, I just couldn't come up with meaningful changes. The Spanker hasn't changed much over the years, aside from the grip and a few colored stripes and such, so it wouldn't actually feel worth it. If only there was another type of rocket launcher out there in need of a redesign. Enter the M57 from Halo 5 Guardians. Once again, this is a design 3 came up with themselves, so there's not much inspiration-wise. Now, I don't actually want to use the Spanker as my main source of inspiration, since I would love to see those two launchers side by side in the games. The Reach Spartan Laser is honestly the best reference I can use. Just like the M57, it's green and has a fairly similar grip and handle. So these two designs will be my inspiration. The rocket launcher in Halo 5 was rather controversial in that it replaced the classic design which came before. Instead of having two barrels, this design was more or less a single tube, sort of resembling the real-life AT-4. In the beta, we saw a more traditional UNSC color scheme. While in the final product, the design was given much more of a vibrant look, with colored lines all over it. The classic spanker arrows were also added, probably to bring in some of the details the fans were missing from the new design. And obviously, this design will be my base. And here's the result. First thing I did was to desaturate the whole design. I wanted to start from scratch with the color scheme, to really simplify it and make it more pleasing to look at. From there, I added the more muted green, inspired by the beta design, as well as the Spartan laser. I then decided to make the secondary color a dark grey, to really fit in with the rest of the UNSC weapons. As for the third color, I wanted to bring in some grit, and gave some parts a metallic silver finish. And for the final color, I noticed the laser had some red stripes, and I really thought it brought a lot of aggressiveness to the weapon. So I gave my design a few red details as well. Now the Lion's Halo 5's design had going for it wasn't a bad idea. So I brought them back, but in a more subtle fashion. I also made sure to mute the colors a little, but still have it be used as the color which makes the whole design pop. And I'm a huge fan of the very old school text the Spartan Laser has. So I replaced the UNSC text with something a bit more nostalgic. And as a final touch, I added those black and yellow stripes seen in the Spanker, to at least make a reference to the iconic design. The end result is a rocket launcher which keeps the outline of the Halo 5 design, but drastically overhauls both colors and details, to give it a more calm and subdued look. And there we have it. Those are all the UNSC designs I came up with this time. And I just want to make it clear, I haven't exactly created these designs. I simply used existing material, created by the amazing artists from both Bungie and 343, and made my own Frankenstein monster. So huge props to them. Without all their amazing work, this wouldn't be possible. Let me know what you think about these designs. 
Did I succeed in making something in between the old art style and the new? Which one is your favorite? And there are still a few UNSC weapons I haven't redesigned yet, so let me know if you'd like to see those as well. And before I go, I want to share these amazing 3D creations based on my previous designs. I do what I want on YouTube has so far created my redesign of the saw and the magnum, and they look incredible. I'll leave a link to the channel in the description. And at Nestor Jonathan on Twitter recreated my battle rifle redesign in 3D with his own spin on the design. And it looks amazing. I'd love to see more stuff like this. So if you feel like creating my redesigns in 3D, I'll include it in this part of the next redesigning Halo video. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, a dislike. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I wish you all the best. And take care. Vernissage.